Happy Sunday everybody. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Today we are going to be diving into my March subscription boxes. So I do have five boxes to open for you guys today. Three of them were sent to me by the company in exchange for this unboxing and two of them I did pay for myself. So before we get into tearing them open, I will just do a run through of what boxes we have here in case you guys are unfamiliar. So two of the ones that were sent to me for this video are the Fairy Loot adult subscription, which is book only, and the YA monthly subscription. This one you get the brand new hardback book, but also a selection of bookish goodies. Fairy Loot is a UK based subscription box company they have their adult subscription their YA subscription both of which come with a like brand new release hardback in an exclusive edition and then they also have a bunch of special editions as well so thank you very much to Fairy Loot for sending these two to open in this video and then we also have two boxes by Illumicrate one of which was sent to me to open which is their regular monthly box. Illumicrate are once again a UK based bookish subscription box company. Their standard monthly box comes with a brand new release sci-fi or fantasy hardback once again in an exclusive edition with a selection of bookish goodies. I do have a discount code on a three or six month Illumicrate create subscription if you guys would like to check it out after watching this video my code for that is becca5 and then i also have the box from illumicrate that i pay for myself which is the afterlight box this one is a bi-monthly romance subscription and in here you get your brand new romance release and also like two or three more self-care items than like bookish merch items and then the final one we have here is a very new subscription it's a book only subscription and that is the locked library by harper voyager i do pay for this one this one you get like a brand new hardback release once again in an exclusive edition and they've promised that the book that you get in their box is not going to be in any other subscription box of the month. This book in particular is the one that I signed up to the subscription for because it is by an author whose book I have previously read and really really enjoyed even though I actually thought I was going to hate it so when I found out that this was going to be one of the books for their subscription that was what pushed me to actually give this subscription a try and it's going to get the Goldsboro treatment if you guys are familiar with my channel. So we will start off with what's at the top but we will group them together so I'll start with the adult fairy loot and then we'll get into YA um, and carry on like that. The adult I do know what the adult subscription is and I'm not sure if I've actually been spoiled for this but this one I believe the prompt is rotten opulence and straight off from the like colors on here i feel like the theme and the actual look of this book is going to be something that i really like um i've heard that it's stunning and i know that it is the foxglove king by hannah witten oh yes i knew from that theme that the edges on this were going to be gorgeous look at that this is bougie so this is the fairy loot edition i have been spoiled for this because i remember thinking like i don't i don't dislike this cover well I don't love it either <laughs> you know what I mean like I don't I don't dislike it but I'm not like obsessed with the cover of this but I do really really love these floral edges around here they are absolutely gorgeous we also have custom end pages in here I've just I'm going to show you guys under the dust jacket in a minute because I've just seen a glimpse of it and I'm very intrigued we have undercover dust jacket art as well which is oh is this yeah this is a reverse dust jacket so you can flip it around if you would like to and then this okay this is this is gorgeous it is a printed and foiled naked hardcover which is gorgeous makes up for the fact that I don't I don't know why I don't love the cover of this I like it it's pretty but I feel like <laughs> the actual just front cover I prefer the like standard edition does this is this just the standard edition but foiled I need to look this up as usual with fairy loot though because they are exclusive editions I will overlay the original cover over the top so you guys can see the difference I am also just going to check it out for myself. No, this is... Okay, so my problem with this is that I don't like the cover of the book. Because <laughs> I thought that this was different than the standard cover. In which case I was like, this is a choice because I don't like it. I'm not sure what I thought the cover of this was. But I thought it was very slightly different to what it is. So yeah, um, the Fairy Loot version is different. We have like foiling on the text and stuff. So it's slightly different from the original. But the actual image and stuff is the same. So my problem is that I don't actually like the cover of this book in general. But... Um, I do have one of Hannah Witten's other books. I think I have For the Wolf. Do I? 
I think I do, but I haven't read it yet and I don't actually know what this one's about. So I will read the synopsis for you guys. It says, when Law was 13, she escaped a cult in the catacombs beneath the city of Dallaire. And in the 10 years since, she's lived by one rule. Don't let them find you. Easier said than done when her magic ties her to the city. Mortem is a magic born from death and it's a high priced and illicit commodity in Dallaire. Law has made a living running poisons for the city's underbelly, but when a run goes wrong, she's captured by the king and expects to be sent to the pyre. But the king has different plans. Law is thrust into the sainted king's glittering cult where no one can be believed and even fewer can be trusted. Guarded by Gabriel, a dupe turned monk, and continually running up against Bastion, the king's ne'er-do-well heir, law tangles in politics, religion, and forbidden romance as she attempts to navigate a debauched and opulent society. But the life she left behind in the catacombs is catching up with her, and even as law makes her way through the sainted court above, danger from below draws ever closer. So this does sound like something I would be interested in. It has very much like the court politics kind of um, fantasy romance vibe which we all know I'm about so I do think this is actually going to be a book that I enjoy especially because I've heard good things about For the Wolf which thinking about it I don't think I do actually own that book I feel like I always get confused between For the Wolf and Eva Reed's book which is is it The Wolf and the Woodsman um and that one it's the Eva Reed book is the one that I own so next up we'll go for the YA fairy loop I feel like I know what the book for this one is as well and I think if, if it is the book that I think it is I actually thought that this was an adult book so I think I just assumed it was an adult book we'll see anyway because I do if it is what I think it is is a book that I plan on reading at least reasonably soon but I have to dig right to the bottom to get out the spoiler card this time and the theme for this month is eternal I'm going to be going in blind but I will pop these spoilers here if you guys want to pause and read through them but cracking right into this box the first thing I have which was actually quite far down but I've tipped everything over and I get into the spoiler card this is a ceramic plate inspired by the bear and the nightingale I like Illumicrate included a couple of like side plates which yes this is also a side plate in a box recently and I loved them this is the kind of item that I want to see because I it's weird because I don't use my cups but I do use the side plates I really really like this and this is something that I will actually use it's a tarot card bag oh my god it's the it's a design by the quirky cup collective as well this is so cool you do you know how long i have been wanting a tarot bag because in every fairy loot you get two tarot cards which is the bonus item that you get in every box you get two tarot cards and together they make up a full deck of tarot and i have been dying for a tarot box for the longest time to put all of these in and fairy loot have come through so this is definitely i feel going to be one of my favorite items i'm also very excited about this fairy loot box so far but while i have them in my hands i feel like i might as well talk about the tarot cards which are the three and four of stars this month and these are characters from one dark window by rachel gillig and i'm just gonna pop those straight in my new tarot bag and then Next up we have oh a metal bookmark which is inspired by Wrath from Kingdom of the Wicked which is a book that I really enjoyed. I also really like Fairy Loot's metal bookmarks and this is no exception. This is I would want to say one of the strongest boxes I have ever received from Fairy Loot and I'm very happy with it so far. And then the final item we have I think is a sticker sheet that is fandom neutral but like bookish in theme and as you can probably tell from the color of this room i am happy with <laughs> this color scheme okay so the book of the month in the pouch we have a letter from the author on the back of this art we also have the fairy scoop and the bookmark with this month's theme art on and the book of the month i think this one is seven faceless saints which i thought was an adult book Oh, she pretty. I know for sure that this is like different from the original, so I will overlay the original over the top. But this one is very pretty. We also have printed edges on here and custom end papers. I feel like the vibe inside this book and like the end papers and stuff is not the vibe that I was getting from the cover. So I'm even more intrigued to read this one now. And we do have a very pretty foiled naked hardcover as well the reason why i'm interested in this is because i have a rome group trip that's happening in september link in description if you want to join us but um i'm looking for a book club book and i heard that this was set in italy but i don't actually know what it's about so 
<laughs> let's find out. The brutal killer stalks on Brazia, a city ruled by the disciples of the seven faceless saints, a city where those with magic live in comfort while the rest struggle to survive, a city caught in a 20 year war of attrition, a battlefront consuming a generation of conscripts. Roz Lassitosa will do anything to tear down the corrupt system of Ombrasia and get justice for her father, who was murdered by the military, including infiltrating the palazzo to spy for the rebellion whilst training as a disciple of the Saint Patience. Damien Venturi is the youngest captain in the history of the palazzo security, expected to be ruthless and strong, and to serve the saints with unquestioning devotion, but he's scarred by his experiences on the front line striving to please his brutal and detached father, and the thing he fears most is facing Roz, who he left behind when he went to war. When a disciple is murdered, Roz and Damien must team up to hunt the killer, no matter the consequences. They must face their buried emotions and the love they once shared as they uncover corruption and conspiracies that will bring darkness and chaos to the streets of their home. This is giving Serpent and Dove to me for some reason, and it, it's not, like I, the, the synopsis is different, but for some reason to me it feels like just reading that it felt a little bit like Serpent and Dove. I don't know why, but yeah, this is one that I'm definitely excited to read. It's one that I have been interested in and was eyeing up before I knew it was a fairy loot book. So hopefully I enjoyed this one. So down in the comments, let me know your favourite item from this month's box. This is a amazing fairy loot box. I cannot pick a favourite. It contains some of my favourite items. Like I really like the metal bookmarks. This I have been asking for for a long, long time. And this I will definitely use. And I love these as like subscription box items. So yeah, down in the comments, let me know what you thought of this box. So moving on then to the Illumicrate, we will start off with the Afterlight, which I don't think I know what the book is for this month. So the spoilers for this month's Afterlight are here if you'd like to pause and take a look. We don't have themes with Afterlight like we do with like Illumicrate and Fairy Loot. The first thing on top here is this very mysterious box. It's heavy, but I couldn't tell you what's in here based on the theme of the box. I feel like it could be a mug based on the shape. It is something to put a drink in. I like you. I like you a lot. So this is a glass mug that has the same pattern as the box around the edge. I really like this. I would be slightly worried because um, Curtis actually works in printing this kind of thing. And I would be worried that the print is going to wash off pretty easily, but obviously only time will tell in that regard. The next item is tucked down the back here and it is a glasses pouch, like the kind that you put sunglasses in. I actually really like the color scheme that are on these two items. At the bottom, we have a letter from the author on the back of this art print and the book is for her consideration by Amy Spaulding. So I will overlay the original over the top because I do strongly suspect that this has a different colour scheme to the original. I really like this. We also have the printed edge here or stenciled edge. End pages. Oh that is really pretty. I like this. It reminds me of the Love Hypothesis Illumicrate editions and all of the Ali Hazelwood ones. As I keep forgetting to show you guys as well, the majority of these books are also signed by the author. But the synopsis on this one, it is a sapphic romance. And it says, what if her Hollywood job turns into her Hollywood ending? Since a crushing breakup three years ago, Nina Rice has written romance, friends, and her dreams of script writing out of her life. But a surprise meeting organized by Ari Fox, a young actress on everyone's radar, stares up all kinds of feelings Nina thought she'd deleted for good. Good. Ari is sexy, out and proud, and a serious control freak, according to Nina's boss. When Ari tells Nina she should be writing again, Nina suddenly finds it less scary to revisit her abandoned life than seriously consider that she is flirting with her. Between reconnecting with her old crew and working on a new script, a relationship with a movie star seems like something she'll definitely mess up, but what could be more worth the risk? I gotta say, I am a big fan of things with like a Hollywood setting, so I do feel like this is something that I will enjoy, because like romance for me a lot of the time is escapism, so I want people live in these like glitzy, bougie, unrealistic lives. And I feel like this may be able to deliver at least partially on that. So let me know what your favorite item from this box is. For me, it's gonna be the mug. I mean, I know we don't have a lot to choose from from Afterlight, but that's fine. I do really like this, providing that there's some longevity into the, the printing on this one. So then moving on to the regular Illumicrate, I don't think that I know what the book for this month is either. This seems familiar to me. I feel like I'm not gonna be surprised when I do find out what it is, but off the top of my head, I can't remember 
remember. Um, here are the spoilers in case you guys are interested. And the theme for April is Be My Enemy, which looks like it's going to be a sci-fi. And it says that it is for fans of Iron Widow, Throne of Glass, The Poppy War, and Realm of the Eldlings. Realm of the... We never have Realm of the Eldlings items. This is exciting. Okay, so first item is a fabric-y item. Is this... This, I really like the pattern on this. This looks like it's inspired by Hades and Persephone, like thematically as gods. I feel like, is this a fandom neutral box? I feel like everything in this box is potentially inspired by like mythology instead of inspired by specific mythology books, if that makes sense. But we will be able to confirm obviously when we move through this one. This one is a lunch bag, I think. So does it have the foiling inside to insulate it? It does. So it is one of those bags that will keep your lunch cool inside it. As somebody who is self-employed, I don't tend to be taking my lunch out into the world. So, and I do really, really, really like the patterning on this. I also feel like this is an item that a lot of people will be able to get like a lot of use out of, just not me. This one is, oh, this feels like it's gonna be one of the ceramic book pots, which I have all of them and there are quite a few now. One, two, three, four, five. Are there at least six or seven? I can see five of them. And I know there's at least one in the living room, but this one is gonna be, yes, mythology inspired. This one is a collection of Greek myths. The back says ancient tales from the lands of gods and the side, the spine says Greek myths, legends, monsters and heroes. So I really, really like these and I do actually use them for various things. Like there's knickknacks in the one on the fireplace. There's one next to my desk that has like bookmarks and tabs in that I use because I do sprints at my desk. Um, so like reading supplies that I need while I'm there. These are one of my favorite Illumicrate items in general. Oh, just seeing what the next, <laughs> the next item is. It is a Mount Olympus collectible teapot. I suspect that this is going to be a very nice item. I just like the teacups. They've just finished it with the mythology inspired teacups. So I kind of assumed um, that we would be done with items of this nature. This is a very, very small teapot. It is beautiful though. Oh, I love that. That is gorgeous. Let me put the lid on as well. There we go. That is beautiful. Sadly though, for me, it's not very practical as i said when with the teacups they're just small <laughs> they're just small you can't fit enough tea in here for me you just can't and also in terms of decoration i just don't have the space i have all of the you know the mugs that you get with illumicrate the rosy thorn ones and also the um fairy loot ones i have all of those and there are so many and in terms of the actual item i prefer those as an item to like the teacups and the teapot so stunning item not particularly for me and is this the last i just seen the book and it is very beautiful but the last item we have is a sticker sheet like with fairy loot and this one is inspired by greek mythology as with everything in this box so the book is of course also inspired by greek mythology i feel like loom creative run out of the little book bags this month which is fine i'm not bothered but the book is, is it lies we told the sea lies no lies we sing to the sea by sarah underwood we have a very pretty stenciled edge i love the gold of this the back says her life to appease a god her life to save a kingdom her lies to destroy them all and oh really pretty exclusive end papers with foiling in there and the back is different but once again foiled we also have some gorgeous foiling on the dust jacket so this is a gorgeous book it is definitely not a book that i would have picked up if it wasn't in a subscription box because generally speaking i'm just not a super mythology girly mainly because a lot of the books like this like i can't see for this one for sure i haven't even read the synopsis yet but they tend to skew a little bit lip -ficky, which ain't usually my style but the synopsis on this says death was only the start of her story in the cursed kingdom of ithaca each summer brings the hanging of 12 maidens a gift to the vengeful poseidon for 17 years leto has escaped the curse's mark until now but death does not claim leto instead she wakes in a mysterious island greeted by the immortal Milan though. She tells Leto that Ithaca's sacrifices are the legacy of the great Odysseus, payment for the lives of Queen Penelope's 12 maids, cast into the ocean centuries ago. Leto has the chance to break the curse, she just has to kill the prince of Ithaca. But Prince Matthias also seeks to free his kingdom from the curse. Torn by her growing love for both Melantho and Matthias, Leto must choose a path to follow. By breaking the curse, they will save thousands of lives. But if they fall, then the tides of fate will drown them all. This is very, very much given um, the girl who fell beneath the sea 
to me but with greek mythology instead and i have to say even though initial impressions would be that i wouldn't pick this book up based on that synopsis i am interested in this because it sounds like the girl who fell beneath the sea gods of jade and shadow by sylvia moreno garcia and also like the winter night trilogy so this is one that i'm definitely going to give a try and i do actually think i have potential to really really enjoy this one so let me know down in the comments what your favorite item from this box is it is a struggle for me i mean it's definitely the pot i really like this box by illumicrate as a like aesthetically i want to say but in terms of the items and the theme in it's just not to my personal taste so i think it's a good box just not a good box for me personally and then the final box that we have to open today is the locked library by harper voyager i'm glad to see that they sent this just in the pink box this month because last month they sent this box inside a cardboard box which was just really unnecessary but we don't have the extra cardboard box this month the book for this one i am excited about because it is a book by kate hartfield who is the author of the embroidered book which is a book that i actually got from the goldsborough subscription and thought i was gonna hate it because it's about marie antoinette and her sister but like if they could do spells um and i really didn't think it would be for me but i really enjoyed it so i'm now excited to um read more from kate hartfield so when i found out that this was going to be one of the locked library books which one of my patrons put in discord that on the harper voyager website there was an option for kate hartfield's book to click on like the locked library edition even though it wasn't in stock or anything like that was an option which is how we kind of guessed that it was going to be one of the locked library books that was the the push because i was dithering about whether to sign up to this but this was the book that like pushed me to try out this box so this one is the valkyrie by kate hartfield we have an exclusive edition here i'm not sure how different the cover itself is um but i will overlay it over the top so you guys can see we have a stenciled edge on here it's not as beautiful as the first book was in terms of edition but it's still very pretty we also have foiling under the dust jacket we also have a bound in letter from the author oh and then we also have a ribbon bookmark in here as well so the back of this says it was a place for believing in gods and monsters but what made me shiver was that everyone was a god and a monster so the irony of me being like i don't really read mythology books and being excited for this one kate hartfield took a concept with the embroidered book that i literally did not care about and did not want to read about and made it something that i enjoy which is why i have faith in this and why i want to try this one so this one says brynhild is a valid shield maiden of the all father chooser of the slain but now she too has fallen flightless in her exile Gudrun is a princess of burgundy a daughter of the rhine a prize for an invading king a king whose brother attila has other plans and a dragon to call upon and in the songs to be sung there is another hero sigurd a warrior with a sword sharper than the new moon as legends tell some are destined to be lovers some fated as enemies but here on midgard legends can be lies but not all heroes are heroic not all monsters monstrous and shield maiden may yet find that love is the greatest weapon of all so this one is obviously norse mythology which i have to say i'm not particularly familiar with but i'm excited about this one because it's kate hartfield so that is it that is all of our unboxings for this month let me know down in like i know i always tell you like to let me know a whole ton of stuff i'm aware i'm annoying but we do have five i can't pick them up very shiny quite gold actually there's only two that aren't gold um special editions here we love it when we have a stack of very very pretty edges but let me know which of these books you are most excited to get to or like which is the prettiest edition i think in terms of contents the one that i would be most excited to get to is oh seven faceless saints but i think in terms of like edition this one the prettiest the fox glove king is also stunning um mainly for these edges so i don't know they're all very very pretty this month so down in my description box i will of course leave a link to locked library fairy loots and lumicrate if you guys would like to check them out as well as links to all of their social media once again a big thank you to fairy loot and lumicrate for sending me boxes to show to you guys in this video um but aside from that guys please don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you wanna if you head into my description box you'll find a link to my goodreads instagram and twitter if you'd like to follow me on any of those as well as a link to my bookish candle website the etsy for that and a 10% off discount code. But that's it from me today, guys. Bye. Oh, you bite your friend like chocolate. You say you will go where nobody knows. With guns in under our petty coats. We're never gonna quit it, no, we're never gonna quit it, no.